Thanks for hanging out with me today. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, like currently, I need to fix this. I need to do something, get ready for the day. But in general, I have some ideas <laughs> on what I should be doing today. Um, I want to, the things I wanna do versus the things I have to do, they never like match up, you know? So I would like to run to Home Goods because they're having a sale, I'm just kidding. You know, they have their fall stuff out and I'm wanting to do some cutesy stuff for fall. And so, I don't know, I just wanna browse around and stuff. Half the morning's already over. I can't even, where does the time go? You know what I did do this morning? Oh, I'll, sh I'll tell you in a second. We'll just be spending this random day together. I have to pack, we're leaving for a couple of days, so I need to get stuff packed. And I have no idea what's for dinner tonight. I have to do that mound of laundry over there because those are the clothes I wear. You know what, I went in my closet this morning, started picking out like fall clothes. I'm like, have I met myself? What am I doing? I think I was still half asleep, but I was picking up some really cute pieces. It's just so hot, it's hard to get in the, it's hard to get in the fall spirit, you know, even with Gilmore Girls playing. We'll see, we'll see. It's been like 20 minutes. I don't know what I was saying. I passed the children along and I, you know, I've been up for several hours and I thought I could come in here and get ready for uh, two minutes <laughs> uninterrupted. It doesn't always happen, that's mom life. It's my fault, I had a bunch of kids, I get it. <laughs> this lighting is not doing me any favors. So anyway, maybe I'll do a s'mores board today. I've been thinking on it. I don't know really what else I'm doing, but I thought we'd hang out. Remember the summer days where you would like just go to your friend's house with no plans, like before you had a car? And you would just go to your friend's house. It's just the color I had on the other day, this chapstick. I need to wear more chapstick. Yeah, that's my favorite color. It looks like no color at all. I wanna make it look like I put in the very least amount of effort as possible because, well, that's what I do. Oh, I just got a notification, an Amazon package. You know what um, came in the mail? The light fixtures for the bathroom, the pulls and knobs for the bathroom vanity, and I think I'm still waiting on the mirrors but something else came in too. That might be it. Oh, the towel, not the rods. I didn't get rods. I got like hooks, I guess. All oh, the towel hooks came in for the, the new bathroom. Do you have towel rods or do you have hooks? I feel like we need hooks here and I feel like I even bought them. Maybe suction cup hooks? I don't remember. They're in there. I just never put them up. But I need to, because whenever we have wet towels, it's just always a mess. And then the solution to that would probably take me 10 minutes, but instead I gripe about it for hours on end. Maybe it is in need of some dry shampoo up in here. I need to get the brunette one, because this one just always leaves a white cast, and then I just look like I'm aging. Which isn't a bad thing. A little texture spray this morning? <laughs> Will this be a mistake? Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Let's not go over. But how could I not? Look at this volume and lift. My five minute face underway. Great, and now my battery's dying, but at least now you can see in better lighting, I don't look like a complete troll, just like half of one. Let's get dressed. I can hear Wolfgang screaming. Uh, he's with his dad, so he's totally fine. He just loves me so much. So what I did this morning uh, was wasted my time. <laughs> Could have been doing 700 other important things, but instead I pulled out a whole bunch of fall outfits. What the heck was it? And then I thought, well, this is too like cold weather fall and it's 125 degrees here. So I, then I pulled out a bunch of, aside from that pink, a bunch of like Florida warm weather approved fall outfits. It ends here. So like, mm. But I think for today, I, I might go with this one. Just nice and cash. I like having all the options and I'm gonna show you, I need to delete the ThreadUp app from my phone. I just make orders all the time and I love this stuff that I get. So I just ordered something and it's so dang cute, I have to show you. So I got Fabletics pants and they kind of look like very similar to the Lululemon pants in terms of like fit and stuff but they were 11 bucks, maybe even 10. I was like, how do I say no to that? And then that that's like not a big deal. I mean, kind of is, but not really. This was the main attraction. The brand on this is Maeve. I've never heard of it before. Normal price is nearly a hundred bucks, but I snagged it for 25. 
Isn't this the most darling? Oh my gosh, and news for you. Where can I put this? I always put my phone down and then I forget that I put it down in my closet and I'm looking through at the whole house. Anyway, um, maybe I'll go to the thrift store today. I'm just kidding, I won't, but I kind of want to because I feel like last night we nailed down a Halloween theme for us. Ken and Barbie. What? Perfect. Perfect. Eleanor walks around singing, I'm just Ken all the time. They saw the Barbie movie. They really liked it. I haven't seen the Barbie movie, but I love Barbie and Ken. And I saw a costume for a baby of Ken, the rollerblading Ken. I could cry. I was like, that is the coolest thing. And then the weird Barbie. I was like, that's the Barbie of my dreams. That's what my Barbies looked like growing up. And I just thought, oh my gosh, is this our theme? I asked Meredith this morning because she was asleep when I came up with it last night. I talked to the big kids. I talked to Alex could be the I'm just Ken one. Oh my gosh. Love it. Hate it. Let me know your thoughts. I don't know. Uh, Meredith was not into the idea. So <laughs> I don't know if Wentworth will be either, but he would be Adam. I think that's his name. Like Ken's little brother. Uh, so I don't know. We're thinking on it. Uh, we gotta, we have a, a little bit of time to think about it, but then here's what happens. I'm like, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And then we end up like hot dogs. I'm like, where did the time go? <laughs> Can't let that happen again. All right. I'm going to get dressed. Even though, Hey, don't get me wrong. I love these pants. I guess I could try this on. Hey, looking good. Looking okay. Actually, it's a little tight. It would have been nice if it was like one size bigger, but it's a nice casual little thing. Should we go fun and funky or basic and bland? I think we're gonna do basic today, just in the mood. Gotta brush out my hair a little bit. I don't know if you can see behind me, but oh my gosh, all my purses fell. I really need to hang up a hook in here, but the disrespect for Lily. Sorry. I was scrolling thread up, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago at this point, and I saw a Kate Spade bag. I don't really care about Kate Spade, but it was bright pink and it was so dang cute. And I added, like I saved it. It went so fast. Like the next day I was like, okay, maybe wanted it more than I did. Or maybe had a bigger budget. All right, here's the look. Should I shave my legs is the actual question. Oh my gosh. I just looked all over my house for my tripod. You're right here the whole time you've been here. Um, I'm gonna grab my laundry. I just got the baby down for a nap and I'm kind of proud of myself because I already washed, uh, what's this? Meredith's blankets and stuff for a nap time at her school. They, I mean, kind of proud of myself, kind of disappointed. It's always a mix of emotions around here. But I will tell you, they, it's the first time I've washed them since they've been at school. To be fair, the first week they didn't have them and then like the third week was a hurricane week so they only used them a couple of times so they kept them and so they've really only been sent home twice this is the third time and i was like i need to wash them this time like uh, there's no excuse and then last week i switched them out with a different blanket but the sheet was the same so i was feeling pretty crummy about being a mom <laughs> being a big old failure so i'm just gonna throw a load in you know what they say one load a day keeps the chaos away. Still waiting for that to happen, but uh, that's worth a shot. All right, I gotta figure out what's for dinner. I'm needing some food inspiration, so I came to the kitchen. I had this this morning. It's a brownie power cup by Kodiak Cakes, so mm, technically not breakfast, but I should have had brownies for breakfast this morning because yesterday was brownie Friday, but instead of actually make, I took a shortcut because it's just been wild and crazy. So we technically had brownies, but anyway, that was really good. I added pecans to it. It's got protein. It had extra protein because I added milk and pecans. So I feel, feel pretty good about my choices over here. Oh, okay, so I need to make dinner, but also while I was putting him to sleep, I started scrolling my phone when he fell asleep and you know, it's just a snowball effect. I started looking up NSYNC t-shirts. Like, do I need one? No. But do I want one? Yes. Tearing up my heart and all that good stuff. No strings attached? Like, come on. I don't, I can't believe I don't have one. We have a new kids on the block one. I gave it to Avelina when she was little. It's really cute. It's like a pajama set. Anyway, I still don't know what's for dinner. I do have a roast. What time is it? I could throw a roast in the crock pot. I'm trying to like empty out my freezer. We're not doing 
the shelf timber. I think that's the thing where you'd like eat through your pantry, you eat through your freezer. But I guess we kind of are because I'm I'm trying to do that because we're going on a trip and tomorrow and I don't want to like go grocery shopping, get a bunch of stuff and then just have it sit for a few days, you know? So I'm gonna grab the roast. Airing up my heart when I'm with you, feel the pain. Dirty pop. Man, they don't make jams like dirty pop anymore, I'll tell you what. Oh, uh, well, I just wanted to run it under water to loosen up whatever was inside of here, but there's a hole in the bag but I'm pretty sure there were, there's supposed to be like juices in here. Maybe not, you know, I put them together so long ago. It's fine, it still looks good, the meat looks good. I'm gonna throw this on low. I forgot to tell you, the whole point in me going to Home Goods is to return this, it doesn't work. Tidy up the living room real quick before I leave. That would be five times messier when I get home. I did want to share one thing, um, Wolfgang for snacks and stuff for treats. I've been giving him these. Amara, they are no sugar added, plant-based, dairy-free. It's coconut milk and then whatever else. No, the ones I just gave him, okay, hold on. Maybe I got them from Thrive Market. I got these from Costco, the huge pack of them. But these are, whatever the heck is on here, mango, coconut, and carrots. The ones I just gave him were like, deep purple and Eleanor got excited about it too because my kids really like them my older kids but they're so pricey so I normally don't buy them very often I must have gotten the red ones from Thrive Market or something but I was happy to see those I you know sometimes you see on Instagram people buy stuff from Costco and you're like oh man my Costco doesn't have that it's the worst and sometimes my Costco does have it, so it was cool. I bought two boxes. I don't know, the other box was still like the orange ones. I don't know where those came from. Anyway, those are a hit, and they're more affordable because you buy them in bulk. It's just hard to find. One time Costco had the pouches. What's the Jennifer Gardner brand of baby food? It's like in a pouch, you know? better ingredients and like it's refrigerated and all that good stuff. But I only found it one time at my Costco. Wish I could find it more. It wasn't even at my Costco, it was at the nicer Costco. But I, I've been trying to go to that one more, but even then sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. Time to get going, because we're gonna go to Home Goods. A Home Goods is the only home that I know. All the way, I'm actually gonna switch over the laundry, because the party don't stop till six in the morning. You're just singing that song. Eleanor's about to go to a birthday party. So we've been dealing with that. If you can imagine, it's already been the amount of time that it takes for a load to go. Got seven minutes. I'm gonna fold as much as I can, put this crap away and uh, make use of seven minutes, you know? You know what they say, a mother's work is never done. And that's exactly how I feel. Uh, later in the video, I'll show you a snippet of when we left for our trip. So we're obviously already back and well, I guess it's not obvious. You have no idea. <laughs> We're already back. And um, the second we got home, I thought, okay, well, better th throw a load in in the wash, you know, because I had wet clothes from the bathing suits. The one caveat about the hotel, I don't even think I shared anything about it with you yet, but you'll, you'll, hear, you'll hear a little bit about it. But they're without a washer and dryer which I'm sure there might be one in the building. I don't know. I also don't care enough to seek it out because we were only there for two nights and it wasn't a big deal. But the second I got home, I thought, well, no rest for the weary. I actually don't know what that, what that saying means or where it derived from. No rest for the weary. Am I weary? Okay, just looked it up. I'm absolutely weary. Weary is a feeling or showing tiredness, especially as a result of excessive exertion or lack of sleep. Wow. Does that ring true? And then the whole saying, no rest for the weary, is used as a wry observation on the heavy workload or absence of relaxation that seems to categorize a person's situation. I, okay, I think I need to title this, no rest for the weary. <laughs> you got to get to going if you're a mom and you always got stuff to do. Yeah, you got to schedule in the relaxation times. That's when my relaxation is when I watch Gilmore Girls 10 minutes every morning when I am getting ready for the day. And even then it's like paired up with screaming babies because he wants to be held. <laughs> I'm like, can't I just get ready for the day? <laughs> anyway, 
that's fine. That's that's motherhood. Okay, that's the season I'm in right now. It's pretty he- heavy on the workload, but you know, laundry. How heavy is that? I guess. I it, you you can always put it off, but I just wanted to throw it in, and wanted to get it done before I ran out the door. That's the whole thing here, and I was able to accomplish just. That. Oh my goodness! I should have turned the air on in here before I started to do the laundry. Woo! It's a scorcher out there. I have my blender to return and I was uh, looking at, okay, so I told you, I saw something on Instagram that I'm trying to recreate and I saw it again, someone else recreated it. Not the same thing, but like they had the same platter, but they had their stuff linked. And so, you know, I was like, oh, where did they buy it? Oh, it's $60 for a ghost tray. Are you nuts? Are you literally outside of your mind? Who has the budget? to spend $60 on a tray just for presentation. I don't, I mean, could you? Sure, but if you don't have to, if you could find something at Home Goods for like 10 bucks. So that is my mission today. Try to find a ghost platter or something fun and festive. I'll see what I can come up with. I'm gonna take you along. I bet you Home Goods is already popping off Christmas stuff. Oh dang, I just got here. And I have my stuff to return, but I just realized I forgot my wallet. Don't tell the cops, okay? I think I have the receipt on my phone and I played with Apple Pay, so fingers crossed I can return this behemoth. Okay, they're literally so, first of all, they got, they returned it, so hallelujah. There are so many cute, oh, this would be a fun craft. It makes three, okay, hey. Dollar Swat Who, all right, I like that. Should I get a couple for the kids to do? I got four kids, you know? What did I see? A Halloween flip book. There, this is just one area to look at. There's so much. And then I saw these honeycomb decorations. Look how darling, look at that witch. Oh, I could cry, I love that. And then the spooktacular pens. Oh my word. That looks like, wait, what is it, Yoshi? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That's the ghost from Yoshi. Am I thinking of the right one? Oh, I could get those, but I won't. Oh my word, a bat crown. Are you having a Halloween party? Those would be adorable. I saw a bunch of haunted houses up front too. Have you seen where they take like a, an old Barbie house and spray paint it? Oh, adorable. Or a dollhouse, you know? Ooh, and then all these little gift bags. This is the best spot and affordable if you're getting like party bags and stuff. $6 for, I don't know, probably oh, 13. Like, come on. Anywhere else, be up the wazoo. I think someone made a choice here, but this blanket is so adorable. Ooh, $25. I went to go look for fabric to make my own blanket. You know, like the tie blankets, the easy ones. And it's like $20 for one yard. It's outrageous. Oh my word, they're putting out new stuff all the time. Look how cute this stuff is. First of all, if I cleaned with cleaning gloves, these would be amazing. Thackeray Binks and all that good stuff. They have Mickey Mouse, spiders, and skulls. Um, and then I saw, look at this little sink drain. And then this one, the spatula, adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I just have to get up off the floor. I fainted because someone told me to get two wreaths for my front door and that would really set my front fall porch a set. You know what I mean? Apart from everyone else's, $150? <laughs> sorry, I gotta go, I gotta go. Someone else said, oh, put leaves all around your front door. You people, $30 for one strand. I just, maybe next year, okay? There are so many cute serving trays and dishes, the trick or treat ones. And then down here, this cat, I don't know, is that for a sponge? Oh my gosh, this probably lost its set, but this is adorable, a cute little spreader. Oh, it came on one of these. Ooh, makes me wanna get it. I like this duo. What can we put in here? The possibilities are endless. And then these bowls? Those are darling. I don't have any Halloween bowls. Or maybe I don't have any fall bowls. I don't know, I probably don't need it, but it's cute. Ooh, what's this? Cookie jar? Are you on this level? Are you elevated enough to have like a coffin charbuterie board? And then like this thing with like chips? What do you put inside here? What, like what? It's hidden the whole party, you know? I don't know, that tray's cute. Everything's cute. Oh, I gotta get out. So many fun platters somebody oh my gosh a little ghost one it's not really what i'm looking for but that could work oh and then the hocus pocus one up here with the witch can you see that one so oh the cauldron salt and pepper shakers my brain doesn't know what to look at 
I found the cutest little corner pumpkin with a lid. I guess it's like a stove top, like a pot kind of thing. <gasps> a mixing bowl that kind of looks like a pumpkin. It doesn't have a lid, but I would never, like, what do I need a lid for anyway? Do I need this? No. What the heck am I doing? There's something wrong with me. That pot looks really nice. Oh my heck, this is so cute. And then the baking dishes back there, I think they're too small for what I need. The cupcake liners, darling. All of these uh, baking cups slash snacking cups, those are cute too. I'm also seeing a lot of snakes everywhere. That apparently is a big trend right now. And then this over here, ooh, these could be, oh my goodness, they're measuring cups. Those could be really fun. Even just putting them on our charcuterie board, putting stuff inside of them, that would be really cute. What else do we have? Oh, this pie dish, but it's the um, the Ouija board. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, these are really pricey at Williams Sonoma. Oh, I keep hitting stuff. But here at the Home Goods, this one is twenty dollars. Even that's pretty pricey, but um, seventeen for the bread pan. But online they're over fifty, sixty ish. It's wild. This bowl out that I just found. Oh my gosh, it looks nothing like them, but it's hilarious. I think I love it. <laughs> I'm at the checkout. I found this. It's color a treat. They're fall cookies and with edible markers. Those cookies probably taste so dang bad, but that's a pretty good deal for 12 cookies. All right, I found stuff. Did I find exactly what I was looking for? No, but I found something that was good enough. I found a ghost platter and I found a whole bunch of crap that I don't need. Does anyone ever need anything from Home Goods? One time I came here and I did need hand soap, got hand soap, but it's like, you know. Anyway, I got a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving, which I was surprised to find like really big plates. I guess I'll, I can show you really quickly what I got when I get home. I'm debating, I have to run to the grocery store. Alex asked me to pick something up on my way home, but the grocery store is that way, TJ Maxx is that way. I don't need anything from TJ Maxx, but like, I didn't, you know. I do need to get Wolfgang a new toothbrush, uh, but that's that way. <laughs> and, oh, does anyone else not like parking lots? <laughs> hey! Also, my steering wheel is so dang hot! Lava! Oh, oh, the other thing, if I were to stop and get him a toothbrush at Target, they have peeps at Target. Well, actually, do they have peeps at Target? I don't know. My Target doesn't have their Halloween stuff out yet, which is, like, good for them, but... I almost ordered Peeps off of Amazon, and when I tell you, it was like $15 for a pack of, for three, for a pack of three Peeps, it might have been a three, like three different packs, skulls, I don't know, Frankensteins and ghosts or something like that, I almost did it, and I don't even know how much Peeps are in store, because I don't buy Peeps, because I don't like Peeps, but I thought they would be cute, oh, should I go, should I go to Target? Wait, I don't even think they have them. Anyway, I want to put it in the s'mores board because I thought that would be cute rather than having just normal marshmallows. Boring. Could make one of two choices right now. I'm like sweating. This shouldn't be happening. The AC is on and it's September. I should be used to this by now. I grew up in Florida. Okay, I, I, made, I just made a decision as I was sweating into my eyeballs. I'm going to Target. I'm going to do it. But I'm going to the nice Target because they have peeps. It says that they have them. I don't know if I can trust the website, but it says that they have them. A dollar twenty-nine, and Amazon wanted to charge me nearly sixteen dollars. Ah! So I'm gonna go there. I'm like, it's right. It's whatever. I'll make the trip. I'll get the toothbrush. I need a couple other accoutrements, and then I'll swing home. It won't be a big deal. Also, why are my ears so red? Is this what it? Is this a, an issue? Is there, is something going on? Is this a symptom of something? Red ears? I don't think my ears have ever been this red. I'm slightly concerned, but also I don't care that much. <laughs> Look at us. Almost got ran over by a car. I thought he was coming to park. Look, if you can even see us, I can't see the screen. It's so dang bright, but look at us. We're best friends. We're just hanging out today, smelling candles, looking at fall stuff. What's inside Target? I gotta know what's inside. Good thing I have my running shoes on. Remember when people would film themselves walking like this? <laughs> yeah, let's get a cart. How cute, the dollar spot. What kind of junk am I gonna buy today? Hey, I know you're a fall girly. Here's your felt hat. For the pumpkin patch we're gonna go to in about a month. Actually, I got an email the other day 
uh, our pumpkin patches open. Actually, I don't know if they were open, but they were promoting tickets. <laughs> are we doing this? Is this what people are spending their money on these days? Family costumes for costumes? I mean, pajamas for, for uh, Christmas isn't enough. Actually, that is a very cool. 30 bucks for an adult. Is that glow in the dark? If it is, then it's cool. If not, uh, dumb. $15 for the tot. PJs for the whole dang fam. I'm not sure why my car is so dang loud. Probably because I'm walking so dang fast. Oh, look. We made it to the hotum section. Hotum, I was gonna say Halloween and then autumn came out. Way cooler than my tar targets. Halloween section, here are the treats. Hold on, I don't see any peeps. I'm about to throw a fit. Ooh, need brains, I need eyeballs. Peeps, peeps, for the first time in my life I'm looking for peeps and can't find them. <laughs> Ooh, actually, what's this? Stationary set? Oh my heck, do you boo people? Don't boo me, how about that? I don't know why, but this Lizzie McGuire song has been popping off lately, it's hilarious. There's like a video going around of her dancing. Minimal and maximum effort at the same time. Those are like melted, all of them. I tried to check multiple packages. It would have been nice to put them out on a a charbuterie board. And I've been meaning to go to Trader Joe's to get their leaf cookies. These don't hold a candle to Trader Joe's leaf cookies. I'll tell you that, just visually. $10 for a, oh, that's pretty cool. Caramel and crunch dipping tray. And then some harvest cookies. Those probably taste better than the ones we just saw. Hey, they've got the cool stuff out. Halloween monsters, color changing cocoa mix. I still have some from literally five years ago. We're gonna, we're gonna drink it this year. You think it'll make us sick? I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, Witch's Brew Marshmallow Topper. That's interesting and fun. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I found these three at my local Target a while ago. Of course I snagged them. Ooh, pumpkin spice marshmallows. I'll give, guess we'll give these a try. <laughs> found them, $1.29 for three. I'm saving like 20 bucks right now, you guys. You're making me real dang happy. Actually, do I want an assortment or do I want all ghosts? Hmm, uh, too many options. Oh, see here, they like really have their Halloween stuff. A while ago, I have corf out. Okay, tell me, do we wanna target Halloween shop with me? What's happening? I mean, obviously not right now. Just so cool, right? Oh, look at the ghost, it's popping up, it's moving. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm hungry, I have to get going, but I can't not just take a peek on this, right? And then the other side, oh, let's get pumped for Halloween. But wait, there's more. Oh, look at that spooky ghost, it's $100, it's moving. I, you obviously are seeing the backside of it, but like way too many fun things to explore. Have you picked out Halloween costumes yet? I haven't, I'm trying to get that ghost to move. All right, there he goes. Oh, wow. Excuse me, I'm trying to film. This is what fall's all about. Cinnamon, pine cones, pumpkins, and mums. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? There's also the mini pumpkins over here. These are kind of I'm trying to check the price. They have an Ulta at this Target. And so all the fall nail stuff is out. Nail, is this Maybelline? I don't know, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff, I guess. I always think, ooh, whenever I come in here, I need X, Y, Z. It's uh, no time, no time. It just looks so magical, but also intimidating at the same time. I don't need anything. I made it home. I spread everything out that I got from, uh, where'd I go? Home Goods. And then from Target, I just got like the peeps and toothbrushes and some snacks for the trip that we're about to take. They had Lunchables on sale. Okay, so the thing with the snacks is we have a refrigerator in the hotel. I, I feel like I had this dilemma with you. Well, not with you, but I explained it. We were looking for a hotel. So we got a bundle of tickets for Disney and we thought, oh, won't it be fun to like split it up? No, it's, no. Uh, I would recommend doing it all in one fell swoop. Uh, so we go to Orlando once a year in the summertime and have that. But then we were looking for a hotel to stay at and we thought, oh, well, wouldn't it be fun to like splurge and have fun and stay at a resort, like a Disney resort? Uh, not my idea of fun, spending that much money for a hotel. So Alex ended up finding a hotel that's very close that is less than $100 a night, which is bonkers. It's actually less than eight, it's $67 a night or whatever. I don't need, what? And they offer breakfast. When I tell you the amount of money it would cost for all of us to go out to breakfast would be more than what we spent. So 
all around it's amazing the hotel that we normally stay at doesn't offer breakfast but they have a kitchen so i normally cook breakfast and then i pack lunch and then i make dinner so this time around i pack snacks because they have a fridge short story long they have a fridge and i wasn't sure if they had one before i guess i could have called and checked but i bought i brought pantry food with us last time to like bring to the parks and stuff uh, but this time around i'm bringing uh fruits and refrigeratable stuff refrigeratable things yep it's in the dictionary look it up and so i'm doing that so i got some fruits and stuff but then I, they also had lunchables on sale i was like we're gonna be partying hard at disney we're really gonna go to the water parks because it's just so dang hot but meredith really wants to meet a few princesses so anyway i guess i'll show you the crap that I got, good news, is I did end up getting a ghost board, which is what I went for. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for like more of a dish, and this is like an elevated tray, and oh, it's like a marble tray and stuff. But I think it's just as cute. It's not as big, but I don't know. It'll get the job done, and I think it's adorable. So got this. Instead of spending $60 on something like this, I spent way more money uh, going to Hungus, but I got, uh, you know, stuff that is useful. As you can tell, some stuff is not, some stuff is. So I got Thanksgiving stuff. I'll start over here with the most boring item, but I thought it was really cute. There are 24 paper activity placemats. So we're hosting Thanksgiving per the usual. We love to host, we love all that good stuff. So I'm trying to elevate it this year because last year I was literally in survival mode. <laughs> and so I thought I'd bump it up and I'll lay these out for the kids to do on their table. They can do crisscross toe, crisscross, okay. And then what is that, like un, sa sc scatter the words, what is this, jumble? I was never good at word jumble. I'm still not, I don't know, let's see. Crow, no, I don't know, help. I, I just read them, I can't, my brain doesn't work this way. Unscatter those words for me, will ya? Velocity, Velocity. Uh, leave, can, ocean, oh, can, <laughs> help, help, maybe that's leaves, that's gotta be leaves, and then the rest, I don't, you got it, I can't do it, I give up, I've never been good at that, or word searches, word searches, not my thing, I can do crossword puzzle, my brain works like that, okay, anyway, so I'm doing a hot cocoa board, and I thought, well, maybe for Thanksgiving, it'll be warm enough to do a hot cocoa board, I'm not sure, but I just got generic little cups here, I normally get them from Costco, but I think they're pretty much the same price, there are 12 in here, and I got them for five dollars, they come with lids, I think that's pretty important when the kids are running around, but what got me, Costco doesn't have these cute prints, do you see the dogs on here? I was crying, oh my gosh, so dang adorable. I was like, how can I not, right? Who doesn't love a dog and a scarf? And then I got this tic-tac-toe game. I thought this would be fun just to throw somewhere. The kids can play it while they're waiting around, while the adults are talking. You know, I, I thought about this one. Um, but it came with a sack so we can save it year after year if we don't lose the pieces and the kids love playing tic-tac-toe It's a game for all the ages, right? And then Avelina, I've been collecting some stuff. This is for Wentworth's birthday party It's like paint supplies and stuff. We're gonna paint pumpkins, but um, I got them off Amazon because I found the best prices there, but Avelina has been making uh, bracelets, bead bracelets and stuff. And so we normally get the supplies from Hobby Lobby or Amazon, but I found these for a reasonable price and they were kind of Halloween themed. So I thought that would be fun. She's going to enjoy that. I got some tape, gift wrap tape. Hey, this is the good quality stuff for four bucks. Four rolls for four bucks. What, I know what you're thinking. Better price at the Dollar Tree, but not this quality. I'm telling you right now. Okay, and then I got some sour gummy worms i got some pasta fall pasta i got two bags of that maybe i'll make something fun for thanksgiving or fall i don't know yet buffalo wing pistachios i'm gonna dive into those um these i've been telling meredith i'm going to get her some bath bombs because we just ran out and six dollars for three not the best price but honestly, Target wants to sell one for like six bucks, so it kind of is the best price. Plus the packaging, I mean, come on, it's so dang cute. And then over here, I'll th throw these on like a movie board one night when we have a movie, that'll be a nice little treat. And the kids always ask to play Bean Boozled, and I never have it, and I always feel bad. So I splurged and spent six dollars on this dumb game. I don't, it's not for me, I'll tell you what. Like I'll eat it and I'll be like, yep, I got the wet socks, <laughs> and I'll just keep chewing, you know? 
Um, okay, the tray, I grabbed this one. I thought this was cute to put literally anything in. I don't know, am I overdoing it? Probably. In my heart of hearts, I was like, Kim, you don't need any of this crap, you know? Uh, and then I grabbed this plate. Oh, look how rustic. I feel like for a lot of what's for dinner videos and stuff, I plate things and I'm always thinking, man, I wish I had a black plate. This little sucker was $15.99 for a plate. And they had a whole set, so at first I picked it up and I thought, oh, $16, and I was thinking, oh yeah, it's for the whole set. Nope, just one dish. But it has that rustic feel, and I think I'm gonna get more use out of that than I think. I don't need the whole set, but for photos and, you know, I don't know. I think uh, one will suffice. And then this one, so happy that I found this. It's so adorable. And uh, it's a fall. Remember the other day I was like, oh, I don't have a fall mixing bowl. Not that I need one. Definitely don't, but why not? You know, you only live once and why not make everything fun? And then I got plates. Yes, I normally get these from Costco too, but you know the ones that they sell from Costco. First of all, they're this size and I love the larger plates like this, especially for a holiday like Thanksgiving. It's an oval dinner plate. There are 24 in there and I got them for $10. And I got three packs because big families. And the ones from Costco comes with the oval plates. So you get 25 big ones, 25 small ones, and then 25 napkins and 25 cocktail napkins. And I'm like, literally, we just want the big plates, you know, and I'm spending, I don't know, $25 on just 25 big plates. It didn't make any sense, so I was happy to find those. And then for fun for the kids, a nice little fall craft for them, or Halloween craft, whatever the heck this is, uh, painting figurines. And I got two of those, and that's it. I say that's it, but that is a lot of loot right here. <laughs> Hopefully I do some fun creative stuff with uh, a few of those things. And you'll see the rest in the, a lot of it was for Thanksgiving, so. What's next? It's not quite dinner, and yes, I still have the skeleton up. I don't know what to do with that, with this crap. This is actually for when Wolfgang's birthday party. This bag is full of just stuff I gotta deal with. No, just don't look behind me, okay? Eyes here. So this, my bedroom is my dumping ground. I got this a while ago off of Amazon. I saw someone do like a s'mores board and they had a couple of different options on Amazon. She actually linked a few different, I don't know. But this one seemed bigger and we're a lot of people so I thought it was fitting. Something is in my eye. So dinner's not quite ready yet, but I figured should I set this up beforehand? I don't know. I'm gathering the supplies for the s'mores board and checked in the pantry for the marshmallows that I got a while ago. Not only is the bag empty, but it was left open. This is literally what's left. Someone to explain it, please. So I'm glad I bought a second bag. These are actually pretty cool because they're square and they fit a graham cracker really well. So I'll show you all of the options I got for a s'mores board because my whole life I didn't know, I didn't realize there were options. I didn't realize you could switch it up and make it fun and interesting and exciting. I'll put them out. So this is everything that I got. Oh, wowza. This is gonna be awesome. It even comes with the, the sticks, even though I have extra sticks, which is good because we have extra people. So these will be the options for like the handler of it. Actually, one more option, Oreos. I've seen people use Oreos, and then obviously the classic graham cracker. They have honey flavored and cinnamon flavored, but I just went with uh, classic. And then Tate's cookies, the big round ones. They're crisp, they're perfect. Maybe it's a great option. And then these are honey grams covered in chocolate and they're gluten-free, which is awesome. And they also sell these cookies gluten-free too, which I had no idea. And then I do have Oreos. They have all kinds of Oreos these days. And then we have pumpkin spice marshmallows, cool, normal marshmallows, but not really. These are extraordinary because they're extra large and they're square, which is awesome. And then the fun and festive peeps, which are essentially marshmallows. We have Frankenstein, and pumpkins and ghosts, and those are the only three that I saw. $1.29, you guys, I can't even believe it. And then Reese's cups in the middle, <laughs> dreaming, and just some normal chocolate. This is the classic. What else can we put inside? I don't know, that's what I saw and that's what I bought, and I feel like this is over and beyond. You are seeing in real time, kind of real time, basically real time, of me attempting to make a reel. 
And this is a new thing that I'm getting into. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting more of them. I To no benefit of my own, I tell you. At least none so far. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to stay up to date. I'm trying to evolve with the system. Still making long form content. You guys don't even worry about that because this this is what I'm this is how I live. This is what I do. It's what I live for. I'm watching Little Mermaid too much. Meredith is loving that movie, which is like I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty inappropriate, if you ask me. It's like a sixteen year old constantly getting yelled at by her dad, and she runs away from home essentially, meets up with this boy. Knows him for five seconds, wants to marry him. I'm like, this is the most toxic thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, so I'm making a s'mores board. You guys, the, the s'more, this is behind the scenes of making a reel. If you want to see the full reel, I don't know. Maybe I posted it to YouTube. Maybe it's definitely on my Instagram. So check that out if, if you want to. It looks a lot cooler than this. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, uh, the, the peeps really knocked it up a notch, Okay. So when the kids were doing it, they thought this was the coolest thing, the kids. Oh, my gosh. I tell you what, I say it a lot, but even putting in the most minimal effort, maximum results when it comes to kids. They get so excited, just the littlest, or at least I hope your kids will too. <laughs> Mine definitely do. Maybe they're easy to impress, but um, they definitely get that from me. But I was so enthralled with this. The Tate's Cookies. As a holder, oh my gosh, and then a Reese's in the middle, I can't, I'm drooling. I never knew I could love some more so much. Those are gluten-free, so that was a treat. I just, I had those in my pantry, and I was like, yeah, let's get what I, out whatever I have and make it work, because that's what you do. You work with what you have, even though I took an extra trip to, uh, to Target to get the peeps. It was worth it, and I needed a toothbrush anyway. I wasn't going out of my way. I was so excited about this. And I didn't know if this burner was going to be great. It does take a little bit. Okay, there's no open flame where you can burn it. I bet if you leave it over it long enough, it will char. But I just like it golden brown. It probably took max two minutes for it to, you know, brown, golden brown like that and get all nice and hot and steamy. But, you know, I thought that was perfect time. It's not a rushing process. It's you're making us some more. You just chit chat and you eat some more. And that's the whole, that's part of the process. Okay. This isn't fast food. Actually, it kind of is fast food, but you get what I'm saying. It was great. The kids enjoyed it. It was a home run. It was a fan. I would recommend this. And I'm glad that I got the board. I thought it was such a cute idea. And you can always mix and match whatever fixins you want to put on it. You know what I mean? I'm sure they have hollow, uh, what is it? Christmas peeps. I'll be doing that for Christmas, making s'mores. All right, on to dinner. This is the pot roast. I'll throw in the recipe that I had, but really what I threw in here was just the meat and then the carrots because everything else got drained out of the bag. I think I added apple juice and something else. I don't. I think maybe that's it. And that's really all you need for a roast. You just throw some meat. That's the inner workings of Wolfgang. He is my cameraman right now, okay? He's my sous chef. He is my left hand man. That's what he is. So I'm taking the carrots out, serving those carrots in a crock pot. Love it. Potatoes in a crock pot. Hate them. Hate them. Never add them. If you want to add them, you go ahead and do that. But that's really all you need. All the juices for the gravy comes right out of the meat. It's great. It's the next day. I feel absolutely ridiculous. I just put texturizing spray in my hair. So you know, you know I'm trying to feel like the woman across the room. But I just went outside to, um, uh, I mean, I'm in a sweater. I have boots on. I'm trying to catch that Gilmore Girls vibe. And I'm literally sweating just from like walking outside for 30 seconds, setting myself up, taking a video. But this hair, I tell you, somebody. Oh, did I ever show you these earrings? These are the leaf earrings. And then I also got pumpkin pie earrings, which are amazing. The kids are out here having fun. So I figured just like, I'll let them have fun. I might peel off. Wow, my lens is fogging up. That's called humidity, 1,000. And uh, I might just shred my sweater because it's so hot. Hey, I thought I'd share this with you. I had no idea that it worked like this. I'm talking about my dishwasher. We had a repairman come out the other day for our ice machine in the back. I don't, I think the touch screen went bad. They think the same thing too. Even just to have them come out and diagnose it. I hear you. 
was an arm and a leg and then they went upstairs and ever since we moved in, the fridge up there hasn't been working. And we like, I didn't wanna buy a new one. They're so expensive. The size it is, it's like five grand just for the fridge. The ice machine is like ridiculously priced too. It's crazy. So I thought might as well just spend the money on a repair guy have them come out and maybe save thousands of dollars and get them both fixed. And I think that's what's happening, fingers crossed. But anyway, we were here and you know, we were paying and signing papers in the kitchen and he saw my dishwasher and he asked something about it and I was like, oh. He asked if it popped open when it was finished. Oh, outside toys came inside, turns out. And I said, oh, like no, I usually just open it. And he told me, you know, takes a tech person to know this kind of stuff. I had no idea. He just pressed auto air, and when it's finished, this is the Bosch, if you have a Bosch, just press auto air, I had no idea. I guess I could read a manual, but who has time to read these days? Sorry, my kids are wild and crazy. Um, this, that is so disgusting. I guess I'll clean it while I'm here. Anyway, he set it to auto air, and when it's finished, it just pops open like that. Isn't that crazy? I thought it was awesome, so if you don't know that, there you go. You learn something new every day. And then also I've been trying to, this got left in my pantry and this is how you regrow sweet potatoes. This is like the root that grows. You have to like take it off and then I think put it in water. So I'm gonna have to Google that and make sure that's really the process and we're gonna have more sweet potatoes in about six months. Uh, maybe, that is if I ever pull the root off of it <laughs> and start the process. <laughs> you know, I have all these lofty goals, but uh, when you have five little kids, you're just in survival mode. And I, I try to do fun little projects like that, but it doesn't always work out. Here I am just tidying up my house before we leave for a trip because I always like to come home to a clean house before I dump all the suitcases out and it's messy again. So earlier I told you well, that we're staying in a hotel. This is the trip we're on, hello. And I shared on my Instagram the amazing breakfast they have, the breakfast bar. When I tell you, I think I already did tell you that the amount of money we paid for a night here is more affordable than what it would cost for all of us to go out to breakfast one time and breakfast is included. It's mind blowing, it's crazy, it's awesome. And the breakfast is incredible. So I figured I'd show you around the room real quick and then I'll tell you where we're staying. Um, we get two rooms a night, obviously, because we're a lot of people, but one room would suffice. So this is the entrance as you walk in. To our left, we have the office, we have the kitchenette. It does come with a fridge, which is awesome, and a microwave, and store the snacks in there for what we're gonna bring the next day. It's got a sink, it's great, it's got a coffee machine, I don't know if you like that. And then the living room, wow, amazing. This one comes with a dresser right here. Ooh, so practical. These are normally in the middle, but I just like to scoot everything off to the side. I don't think the couch unfolds. Oh, it does, is it a pullout? I don't know, it kind of looks like a pullout, so if you need to accommodate more, you totally can. TV right here. I have a king bed in this one because I stay in here with the little ones. And then the, uh, whatever this is, the bathroom. Ooh, uh, wow, this is my OOTD. Uh, Lily's making her debut and I'm excited about it. And then just, I mean, a typical bathroom. It's nothing crazy, nothing wild, but for the price, it's like unbelievable. And then we got adjoining rooms and this is what the other room looks like. So this is the other room, very similar situation, door, office, mini. This couch is larger. I feel like this living space is a little larger and then a double bed in this one for, you know, boys and girls and all the good stuff happening right here. And you get a closet even. Oh my gosh, my outfit again, it's amazing. <laughs> all right, that's it. I thought you wanted to see that. I actually know you wanted to see that because I got a lot of requests. This is the breakfast of my dreams at the hotel. They have they have an assortment. They have a variety. They've got muffins galore. They have bagels. There's even more bagels. Wait for it. And the coolest toaster you've ever seen in your entire life. They have fruit. I guess we'll grab one of these to the go. Actually, these don't look great, but that's okay. And then what's up here? Let me grab cheddar cheese and ham and yogurt and basically cow's milk here. Butter, cream cheese for the bagels. Ooh, and then the hot bre brekkie hot brekkie. Oh, they've got fresh tomatoes and spinach. <gasps> spinach and hot tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna make the eggs of my dreams. Watch out. Best part of this place is the waffle bar. This is what we dream of. This is what dreams are made of. Just full on carbs and sugar. This is not the protein waffle mix. My kids definitely mentioned that. It does take a while to cook, but it's worth it. Someone's gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> Do I eat oatmeal at home? Absolutely not but do I eat oatmeal and dream about it at a hotel? You better believe it. It's so dang good. 
I don't know why. I just don't think I would set all this up for myself. The whole bar, that's what makes the experience worth it. I have this, oh, blueberry compote. Yesterday they had acai. Oh, oh, green, green. Oops, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Cute little Mickey. The perfect, the perfect little waffle. <laughs> My goodness gracious, we had such a fantastic trip. One of my faves. This is my, oh my gosh, my dream breakfast, you guys. I would never for myself, but at the hotel I eat it every day. I literally dream about it. I don't know. It's simple, but I would, I don't, I don't know. I don't put that effort in for me. Anyway, we had a great trip. Breakfast was even more fantastic. I'm going to end the vlog here because, yep, we've, uh, we've spent a lot of time together today. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for giving me your time. I know you could be spending it with other people, so I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye.